Question 5. When solid aluminum chloride is heated, Al2Cl6 is formed. Which bonding is present in Al2Cl6? Okay, so this one is a dimer uh, that formed from the two uh, Al2Cl3 uh, molecules. So basically, it will form uh, two dative bonds uh, and it's a lone pair from the chlorine right, to the uh, uh, aluminum. And uh, the other chlorine uh, will form dative bond with uh, the other aluminum. Okay, so this one uh, is has a uh, two dative bond, and uh, of course the rest uh, they are all normal covalent bond. Okay, so therefore we know that in this uh, Al two Cl six, uh, it has a uh, two bonds. So it's a uh, covalent bonds and the coordinate or dative covalence one. Okay, so therefore answer is A. Question six. The structure of a sulfur dioxide molecule is shown. What is the shape of this uh, sulfur dioxide molecule? Uh, so first, uh, do not uh, mislead by the diagrams that shown here. Uh, it looks like linear, but actually it's not. Okay, because we know that the sulfur is a central atom, so it has a it has three electron pairs uh, that surrounding it. So it's a one lone pair and uh, two double bonds. So these are uh, two bonding pairs. So this one, uh, if you let the sulfur. Uh, it has a non-linear uh, geometry uh, because uh, this um, lone pair is actually invisible. So what we uh, use to form the, the, the shape or the geometry of a molecule is the, the atoms, uh, of course, with the bonding. So SO2 now, uh, it looks like the V shape. So the oxygen sulfur and oxygen the lone pair is invisible that's why we get non-linear because of the three uh, electron uh, three electron pairs that surrounding this uh, sulfur right again sulfur with three electron crowds or three electron pair so one lone pair and these two bonding pairs right so therefore it's a uh, non-linear okay that's all thank you